So, I just got done playing and beating Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and this is my review. This is done by the team who made Assassin's Creed Origins, and... In my opinion, I don't think it's as good as Origins. Shocker. It's still a great game. I still do think it's worth the money. But I'm going to get into my problems in just a, in just a sec. So Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the newest installment into RPG Assassin's Creed's, um, and basically, if you like these games, you're gonna love this. And I, I love Origins, and I thought Odyssey was okay, so I had a lot of expectations going into Valhalla. Um, while I do still think it's better than or uh, Odyssey, it's still not my favorite. I still think my favorite Assassin's Creed is Origins, but this one probably top six. I'm gonna go over my pros with it and my cons with it starting off with the graphics and this game is fucking gorgeous assassin's creed valhalla's open world is one of the most gorgeous open worlds i've ever seen in my life and so nice to look the beginning area alone is just so beautiful and so just you will stop and look around and say wow this this is awesome <clears throat> but of course Ubisoft is great at creating these huge spectacle open worlds. That's what they're known for. That's what they're great at. What about everything else? It honestly looks... Well, in terms of like the character models, I think they look slightly better than Origins and Odyssey, but not by much. They still do look kind of the same. It looks like it's running on the same engine. So if you thought Origins and Odyssey looked good, you're going to enjoy the graphics in this. And I'm giving the graphics for Valhalla a 9 out of 10. It's a great looking game, but we've seen it before. Now let's get into story. And I do think this is where it falters a bit. Now, the story is still better than Odyssey. I still think Odyssey's story is one of the worst in Assassin's Creed history. But I would not put it on near like the level of like Assassin's Creed 2, 3, 4, or Origins. I just wouldn't. The story is okay. And... At this moment, I'm probably going to replay through it when I do New Game Plus. Maybe the story will grow on me. <clears throat> I just thought it was okay. There are a lot of plot holes in this game story that kind of take you out of the experience. And there are just... It honestly feels... If I had to explain it, it feels like the story of Assassin's Creed Unity. Like, it's better than like Syndicate and Odyssey and all that. It feels about on the same level as Unity. I thought the Unity story was okay. This story has a lot of good moments, but also has a lot of mediocre moments. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to give the story a 6 out of 10. Uh, it's not my favorite story in the Assassin's Creed uh, franchise, but it's not my least favorite. <sighs> combat. I still love it. I still do think the combat in these new Assassin's Creed are fun. It actually requires you to actually dodge at the right time, uh, block at the right time so you can get the parry. It's a really nice fluid system that really it feels good to play. Um, I do think this feels way better than Odyssey. I think it feels about the same as Origins, from being honest. It does have the ability thing from Odyssey brought over. But now that you can actually have your shield back again, you can actually take on these higher powered enemies. And you can actually deal with them, unlike an Odyssey, where you were forced to grind. And this one, just like an Origins, you have a shield and you can just block. And it's very easy to deal with enemies. The game still does have its hard moments. But I will say the highlight of the combat is when you do boss fights. They feel intense, they feel badass, and they feel memorable. And that's why I love it. So the combat, for me, gets a 10 out of 10. I have no issue with it whatsoever. It's fun to play, and I had a blast playing it characters and all that um the main protagonist because let's be honest the main thing about assassin's creed as well is your main protagonist and the main protagonist here avor is pretty good i think he is good he's not great i would not put him on a level of bayak or edward or <clears throat> shay from rogue or Ezio from assassin's creed 2 i just wouldn't However, I would put him <clears throat> on the same level as someone like uh, Arno from Unity, who was an interesting protagonist. He wasn't as interesting as I wanted him to be, but let me tell you something. At least he's better than fucking Alexios than Cassandra from Odyssey, and he's better than fucking the ones from Unity uh, Syndicate. So, 
Um, I think I think he's a pretty good protagonist. I can't wait to see what he's going to be doing in the DLC when he goes to Dublin. But it's it's a really fun DLC, and well, not DLC, but he's a really fun character. He has his great moments. He has his badass moments. However, I just wish there was more to his character. There's not a much to his character <clears throat> as I wanted there to be, but he's still a great protagonist nonetheless. <sighs> Alright, let's get into progression. Well, RPG progression. So this game is still an RPG. Full-fledged one at that. This game feels more like the RPG side of things from um, Origins instead of Odyssey. But unlike Origins, the skill tree in this game is really messy. I do not like the way they have set this up. It just feels confusing to navigate, to go through. You'll get used to it after maybe six to seven hours, but that's not enough to justify it. I just wish that the progression system was slightly better. Leveling up is honestly not a hard thing to do. Um, you just level up, you get your power rating up. This easy as that, um, which is honestly kind of nice. There is still that grind. It's not as bad as or uh, Odyssey. I would say it's on the same grind level as something like Origins. So I'm happy with that. Um, I'm just happy I don't have to play every single fucking side mission. I didn't play every single side mission, by the way, when I originally beat the story. The reason why it took me 100 hours to beat this game is because I played most of the side missions, beat the story, and went back through and completed all the side well, completed all the side quests that I missed. Now you won't be able to redo quests. This game is focused on your choices. This is one of the major gameplay aspects of it as well. Well, before that, I want to get into progression. Uh, the progression, I would have to give a 7. It's good. It's not great. Um, decision making is like one of the newest, biggest gameplay features. I think it's implemented well. Every choice you do make does have an impact, so that's a good thing. But... I just... I feel like this Assassin's Creed was a big step up from Odyssey, but it just wasn't on par with Origins, and I really wanted it to be. In terms of an Assassin's Creed game, I do think this is a good title. It's not the best one in the franchise. I would honestly say that this game is probably a wait for the sale at the moment. Uh, it's I would have to give it, if I had to give it a score, because there's a lot of other issues. For instance, the voice acting could be a little bit better. It, the... It, it, it's not as bad as Watch Dogs Legion, but it's still kind of iffy at times. Um, lip syncing feels a bit. If there's just some issues in this in this game that need that the voice acting can't be really patched over, but no, hopefully there there are bugs in this game. My God, there are bugs. This game has is buggy at times. I've had the game crash on me three times during my playthrough, so. All that being said, I'm about to give this game a 7 out of 10. I would say wait for it to drop to at least $40 before buying it. Um, I don't regret my purchase, but at the same time, I just wish that there was more to this game. Like, it's still a good game. I just wish it was on the same level as Assassin's Creed Origins. Origins was just such a fun game, and I really do hope that you know the next Assassin's Creed feels like Origins. So, Anyways, guys, this is my review for Assassin's Creed or um, Valhalla. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys next time.